Hello and welcome to my tutorial on how to make fantasy potion charms with these little balls. Alright, so these are the things that you're actually going to need to make them. Uh, these are little glass apothecary balls. You can get about 12 for around fiver, so they're not too expensive. If you want to make your potions nice and thick, then you're going to want to use glycerol. Now, these are about a pound a bottle and you can use water instead, but this makes it look a lot thicker and more fancy. You're also going to need some food dye. I've got old style paste because you need to use less of it to get a, a darker colour. Right, so typically health potion is red, stamina potion is green and a mana potion is blue so that's what colours I've got here. And That's pretty much everything that you need to actually make them. Right, you're also going to want some label paper. Now, this is paper which has a backing on which you, you peel off and then you can stick it straight onto your surface. <clears throat> okay, as for tools that you want, you're going to want a glass or something to mix the glycerol and the food colouring together before you put it in the balls. You can mix it straight into the balls but you'll make a lot of mess. Um, for mixing, I'm using just some cocktail skewers and then to actually get it in the containers, I've got this which is a needleless syringe. So I can take it out of the glass and then put it in there. You don't necessarily need one of these, it'll just make it so you need to clean up less. Alright, for the labels, you're going to need something to cut it out with and then something to write what portion it is, if you want to do that. And something optional that you might like to do is with the label, give it a burnt edge. If you're going to do that, you want some matches and some tweezers, some pliers, something to hold the paper while you burn it. Uh, that's just optional. I'm going to be doing that on a couple of them, see what it looks like. But you don't have to do that. Alright, so moving on to the first step. You're going to want to take your little balls. And you're going to want to uncork them all. And then they can go away for now. Now, when you're mixing, don't forget to keep some tissues handy. Because you are most likely are going to make a mess. Put two aside for now. All right. So take a little bit of your glycerol and put it into the container. Now you really don't need much. Yeah, I've only got a tiny bit in there. And then some of your red, some of your food coloring. Which I had to take a little bit off and it got very messy. But this is the food dye. They're probably a bit different to what you're used to seeing. You're probably used to seeing the water-based food dyes. Uh, these are more expensive, but you really do need a lot less. So I'm just going to take a tiny bit and then mix it in. Alright, so this is the colour I've ended up with. Um, sometimes it'll take you a few tries to get it. But, just get it until you get it the right colour. You can have it, this is where you can really customise it. You can have it any darkness you want or quite light. Careful to wipe up anything because it's really easy to make a mess with this stuff. <clears throat> so, I'm going to take a middle of syringe and then I'm going to get the cup. I'm just going to get it at an angle so it all flows down. I'm put this in and then suck up whatever I can. Alright, now you can see it in there. Right, look, it's a nice colour. So you're going to want to wipe the end. So if I tip it upside down, all the glycerol goes to the bottom, all the air comes to the top. And I can squirt it out into a tissue and get all the air out. And then once again, tidy up the outside. Alright, once you're satisfied that there's no residue left on here, you can put it, get your glass bottle, put it inside, and then squirt it until you've filled up enough. Alright, 
But the slower you do this, the better, then you can judge how much exactly you want inside. Okay. So you see, I'm just off of the top there. So I'm going to leave that to one side for now. Alright, so I'm back, I've cleaned up, and I'm ready to move on. I'm going to leave this just to one side for now while I do both of the other colours. Now, you do them exactly the same way again. So I've got the green for the stamina and the blue for the math portion. Alright, so I'm back, I've tied it up, and this is the result. The colours turned out really nicely. So, at this point, you're going to want to clean up anything. If you've got any around the edges, you're going to want to clean that up now. <clears throat> Alright, so, if you're using these just as ornaments, you can put the cork in now, and then just press it down and leave it, and that's it. Uh, depending on what you want, to, if you want a more sturdy thing though, you can use some glue, A6000, which is stuff that I'll be using, just to put around the outside of here and then press it down and it'll really stick it tight, which means you can use these as necklaces or charms for bracelets, earrings, any of sort of thing like that. Uh, this is really strong glue, so you really don't want to get it anywhere. So I'm going to use, be using tissues around. So, get some of your glue and just put it around the perimeter of the cork. Okay, and then you're just going to want to press it down. And then press it down quite hard. And then you're going to want to leave that to s to dry completely. Alright, so I'm going to do that with all three of them. And then leave them to dry. Alright, so they're all sealed down now. I'm going to leave them just to dry out completely. It should only take about 20 minutes or so. And then I'll move on to the next step, which is creating the labels to go on them. So, you've got your label paper. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it to size first. I'm going to cut it to what about what I think it should be. And then I can put it up to the bottle and see how much space I have. With this one I don't have too much space. But now I've got a lot of space between the bottom of the bottle and the where it starts to indent. So I'm going to cut three more pieces to that size. In just any sort of fancy writing, you just want to write 
health, mana, and stamina on each of these. Alright, so those are written out. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut roughly around the outside. Alright, so there we go. So it's just roughly around the outside, leaving a bit of space. So, throwing away any excess. I've got them cut out to what size I need them now. Alright, now for this bit, I've got some matches and I've also got um, a pair of players. I've got a rubber band on it so that when I can just leave it in there and hold it and have better use of both hands. <clears throat> so, what I'm going to do now is get it in there. So I've got it just in, and I've got a lot of the outside. And I'm going to take one of the matches. Now you need to be really careful when doing this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to light the match, and then hold it just to the edge of the paper until it starts to burn, set fire. Then I'm going to take away this match and blow it out straight away. So it'll give it a brown edge to it, but it won't burn it all up. So. Hopefully that'll work. Let's give it a go. Alright, so that seems to be working quite nicely. So I'm just going to repeat that all the way around it. Um, Alright, so there we go. That's burnt all the way around now. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take just another match and then just rub it gently to get any of the ash off the side. So that's the first of them there. I'm going to repeat it on all of them and then it's on to the next step. Alright, so they're all burnt around the edges now and then I can move on to the next step. Alright, so back now. Um, a couple of them got a bit burnt, so I had to remake a couple of them. But you should probably make a few copies of it anyway just to. So you've got a few different ones to choose from. Alright, so I'm happy with the way that they look now. So it's time to apply these onto the balls. Now, because the back's burnt, it's going to be a lot more difficult to get the pla uh, the paper off the back, but you're still going to be able to do it eventually. Um, so make sure you, you've got the right colour to the right label. You don't want to make a, a silly mistake right at the end now. So if I can get the end off, back off making sure that it's the right way up and the right bottle I can just press it on and then roll it onto it like so And they've turned out really nice. Turned out really nice colours. And the labels work really well with them as well. The glycerine inside gives it really nice uh, viscosity. I am finished them with these as it is now. But if you wanted to turn them into jewellery, as a necklace or a charm, they, these bottles normally come with eyelets. 
which are these little things. Um, you basically just press it into the top and screw it in and then you can put some string or a necklace or anything through there and then you've got it as a little charm. But these are finished for me now, so they're staying as they are now. Alright, thank you for watching this tutorial. Leave a like or a comment if you'd like to see more of these sorts of tutorials. Let me know what you thought about it. If anybody tries to make their own, I'd love to hear about that. Um, thank you for watching. I'll see you for the next tutorial. Bye.